fact, uh, he was someone who lived in the woods often amongst the animals. The animals loved him because of his gentle ways. And so now he is the patron saint of animals, both pets and wildlife. And I can't tell you, I think now I have four different St. Francis statues, including this fountain in my own garden. And I always put little animal statues around the bottom. I just think it's so charming and it just makes me feel inspired when I'm out there. And he's really the protector of your garden. He Don't is. you feel that way? Uh -huh. I mean, he's absolutely gorgeous. We've been here 10 years now with Smart Solar. Wow. We are the only ones with the patented integrated solar panel pump system that allows your fountains to run in the sun. So there's no digging, there's no wiring or plumbing in your yard. It's all done by Mother Nature. So that means you can put this anywhere in your yard. Mm -hmm. As long as you're getting that sun, this will run and he's gorgeous. He's a statue. We actually had a customer that said she was looking for the perfect St. Francis fountain. Uh, I'm sorry, St. Francis uh -huh. statue. And then this just happened to be a fountain as well, so it was a big bonus for her. Well, and I thought and that's a perfect way to say this. That's so true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, often when you see a St. Francis statue at a garden shop, it's made of solid stone or concrete very, very heavy. It's hard to move around, especially certainly something this size. Exactly. And so this also gives you the double bonus of having that fountain and the water feature, but also it's made of poly resin, which looks like stone, but it's easy for you to pick up and move it from place to place. So if you want to adjust it as your foliage gets larger and maybe it starts out in the sun another month later now it's in the shade exactly you can move it from place to place also even when it's not running it's a wonderful bird water bath it sure is so your birds will be drawn to it as well because it's the perfect shape for them to sit on the edge and I just want to take you through all the lovely detail because that's what we're known for at smart solar as well so up here you'll see that he has his really chiseled face you'll see his hairline his nose you'll see his beard and his mustache and then as you move down through all that beautiful detail, his billowing robe, it's draping, it's so lovely. He's holding the bowl and then on the bowl you'll see two birds. One is perched looking down and the other one is looking up. And it looks like as though they're ready to take a swim in the bird bath as well. Get, a, get, mm -hmm. get their feathers a little wet, take a drink if you will. Uh -huh. And then he's barefoot as we move down at the bottom, uh, standing here on a grassy knoll if you will. And he looks great because it's done in an oil rubbed bronze. Uh, it looks aged, it looks old, it's supposed to be that way. That's part of the charm of this. And it's very simple, like the man himself was. Exactly. So there's no doodads and sparklies and twirlies or anything on this. It's just a simple figure of a simple man who worked magic with animals. That's why, you know, I love that the birds are sitting there on the basin because they're not afraid of him. Exactly. And I like to think that animals are not afraid of me when I'm out in my garden too. I like to think that the, you know, the birds are Never. flying right over my head and the, the wild bunnies are peeking out yes. from, you know, behind the, the bushes and they know that I'm not gonna hurt them. And I know many of you feel that way as Absolutely. well about animals. And uh, this is not only a protector for your garden, but a welcome sign for animals to know. This is a place that I actually have a plaque on my, my stucco wall of my deck that says, all God's creatures are welcome here. And it has bunnies that. and birds and a deer. And you know, I just, I just welcome them all and make sure I have pet friendly plants. And um, you know, I just, this is perfect for those of you who feel the way I do. And I know there are many of you out yes, there. Yes, there's so many animal lovers out there. I mm -hmm. happen to be one too. And you want them to know it's a safe haven. They can come to your uh, yeah. garden area. They can come to your home. And this is beautiful because you can put him anywhere you want, like we just mentioned. And you can put him in the front yard or the backyard by your front door, by a pool. You can put him in the flower bed, the rock garden. And I love with our smart solar fountains that you don't need a big area. As long as you're getting the sun, you'll have a beautiful, gentle yeah. bubbler flowing for you. Um, you can put him on a patio a balcony if you live in a condo or an apartment I want to show you this is the gentle bubbler that's running now we also give you our circular nozzle attachment you just simply place that right on and now it gives it a different sound uh -huh. and it also gives it a yeah. different pattern as well to the water I love this too if you're creating a memorial area in your yard for a pet that has passed uh, this is such a peaceful thing to have along with maybe your your memorial plaque or statue of your dog Great or idea. cat um, 
I'll, uh, you, you can see pictures, I'll repost them, but I posted lots of pictures last year of my St. Francis areas of my garden. Plant little flowers around the base, put some more animal statuary there and create a beautiful section of your garden uh, for the animals to know it's peaceful. And you know, if you have a place to sit out there and enjoy it, mm -hmm. that's even better. Put this at where you have other bird feeders or, or, or hummingbird feeders. And it just creates that wonderful welcoming theme throughout your garden. And it's so simple, there's there's virtually no, no. setup. You just there plug isn't. the pump together, right? Right, so it's just, you're just going to uh, plug the solar panel and pump together. Put it in the allotted space inside the bowl here where he has the two birds perched upon that. Mm -hmm. And then you fill it with water and you put it in the sun. This is a great way to create that curb appeal, but also your own outdoor sanctuary. So you can sit back, relax with your favorite beverage or your book on one of those beautiful summer days. That's what you want. You want to bring your indoors out. And really, it's, it's part of your character. It's how you decorate. I have to make, this is very important to note if you're thinking about this. Uh, this was very popular last year. We were able to secure a few more to bring into our inventory for this season, but we have been told by our friends at Smart Solar that they are not going to be able to make any more of this particular fountain because they're, you know, they're moving on to some different things. Um, so if you want the St. Francis fountain, there is no reorder available to us. So what we have in our inventory now is all that we're ever going to be able to have. So if you want this, I would not wait too long. Look at that beautiful close-up of Isn't the, that like the, the, the little pit marks, like it, like real stone. Uh, if you like that rustic garden look too, uh, which many of you were really uh, telling us through what you were buying on Sunday is what you like. Yes. The simple things in your garden, uh, this is perfect for that. I mean, we have other things that are more ornate and fancy, but if you like simple, you like to decorate with things that look like antiques that are kind of that countryfied way yes. of enjoying your garden, maybe an old wheelbarrow or a wagon, mm -hmm. uh, an old bicycle standing there with flowers planted around it, that sort of thing. This is absolutely perfect. And of course, a must have for any of you who are animal lovers. And I just want to quickly mention 40 degrees and under, you're going to bring this in and you're going to change the water every week or two as needed, Carolyn. Yes, with any of your solar fountains, do not leave them out in the winter. But, you know, they are perfect three seasons out of the year. Thanks, Janine. Thank you, Carolyn. Great. All right, coming up, uh, we do have this beautiful pinwheel, which is always very popular. You know, the, um, the metal... Uh